gonna lose sight of them in a moment. Look how hard it's coming down. Good morning, folks. I thought I'd um, wake up to rain or storm or whatever last night. Woke up to no rain at all. Temperature's still quite warm, look. About five minutes ago, just before I left the house, there was a clap of thunder, first I'm aware of. And literally as I pulled into Sanford Lane, the first raindrops have begun. It's going to be a heavy one. Just doing what I always do. Systematic check of the uh, most used shallow edges. North spit first. Do I go left to right every time? Kind of. Nothing apparently on the spit. Down in the northeast corner, on the peg, in between the two posts, with the grass backdrop and the yellow flowers. I'll zoom it up a bit. You can just make out a little old kingfisher there. Look. Yes, she, he. So scanning around, not to uh, seeing any waders. <laughs> Come and watch it, the Kingfisher. Um, water level is just getting to a point where it could have become quite a good magnet for waders. There's a couple of uh, lapwing or three back there. You can see the coots and the uh, Canada geese standing there. It's going to rain hard. Not constantly, but big, big uh, systems going through today and more tomorrow. And that will mean these islands and these shallows are going to vanish again. You heard it here. And about first, by the time you watch this, it will have already gone through. But uh, at least I can tell you, half past six, give or take, when it started rolling in from the east. With the incoming weather, I was hopeful that um, I would indeed see some of these guys. And once more, and amongst them, would be a wood sand. Nothing so far, but I've barely been here 10 minutes. Here comes the real rain now. And one thing about green sandpipes, and I suppose that's why wood sands do this, weather like this, you could be looking at one, or looking at none, and next minute, You'll hear that call, green sandpiper call that is, and um, boom, next minute, it's a green sand in front of you, two, six, as it were, well they weren't you know, flying did they, but uh, either way green sands do seem to drop in during weather like this, so um, Doris says a lot of people might not want to be out in this. I don't want to be out in this, but I don't mind being in a hide in this. And um, it's when you think about getting back to your car, thinking, I think I'll wait for it to slow a little. Um, like a proper little wuss. <laughs> I brought my umbrella, because <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. Easily forecasted stuff. So um, why well, get wetter than you need to? Interestingly pale face on the right hand bird. Still not a wood sand though.
I'm going to lose sight of them in a moment. Look how hard it's coming down. I wonder why they look up. We don't look up when it rains, do we? What's that about? Does the rain run down their feathers more easily like that? So many unanswered questions. Thank you.